this video I'm going to show you how to get a desk such as a Control24 working in the latest version of Pro Tools as well as Reaper as well as Reaper. Reaper is super easy and it seems to function a little bit better straight out of the box which is good. So there's three things that we need to have for this to work. Actually four things. Four things. Right, so you need for starters any kind of door Digital audio workstation, if you don't know. <laughs> um, so it could be Pro Tools, Reaper, Logic, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using Pro Tools and uh, Reaper for this one. So that's your door, that's number one. The second thing you're going to need is an audio interface. I am using a Cymatic audio uh, Utrack 24, which I've borrowed from a friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> and third thing is a desk. So I am using a DigiDesign Control 24, very similar to the C24, which I'm using a TAFE, which is kind of why I was interested in the first place. Yeah, so that's number three. And the fourth thing we need, unfortunately, is some software. I know, I know. Software sucks, but we're gonna have to do it. Gonna have to do it, man. So that is this page that we've got up here. Nay rink whatever. <laughs> so this guy's this company, whatever, a made software called V Control Pro. So what we can do is it's basically an intermediary between your old school hardware, which is good stuff, and the newest version of Pro Tools or any other door. Okay. So we need to go to nayrink.com, link in description just in case, and we need to go to vControl Pro. Where is it? Downloads. There you go. Downloads vControl Pro. Now, the issue with vControl Pro is you have to pay for it, which is an absolute quint. Um It's expensive, but there's one cool thing we can have done here. It's a free trial license. You only get it for seven days, but this will enable all V Control Pro features for free for seven days. Um, as long as you've got an iLock account, but you know if you're using Pro Tools, then you're going to have the iLock account anyway. So with the free trial license, it's going to give you all features for seven days, and then it's just going to go back to an unlicensed version in which you get limited use, limited features, whatever, which kind of means you only get, I think, about eight tracks and fuck all of anything else. So <laughs> pretty much this is going to be your only hope. So what we have to do, free trial license, so we register for free trial license. Click on that motherfucker right there. That's where a lot get used to it. Right. Also going to have to get your iLock user ID. Obviously, if you have your iLock account, then just go to iLock.com and get your freaking account. User ID is usually going to be your email address that you've used with iLock. We'll create an account. Why not? User ID. Pro Tools is dash is one. <laughs> just copy that in case you need it. First name, tester. Testing Tong Sun Blin. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> cool. All right. So that's how we make the account. Okay. Paste and go. Let me the fuck in. Awesome. Apparently it's activated. Okay. Once it's activated. So we've made the iLock account, if you didn't have one already. I'm only doing this to show you the process. So what we need to do is take our username, which is that, go back to the tab where your vControl Pro trial license is, paste your thingamabob in that, and click Submit iLock Account ID. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, Google. 
Huzzah! Look at that. All right. So it works. Second time around. I hate technology. I really do. Um, so that's how we get it. We get the license reference number right there. Hopefully, I'll blow that out so you can't fucking activate my shit. And of course, you can click here to download the installer. So click where it says here to grab the installer. Ugh. Brilliant. So fill this crap out. Wrap stuff organization takes too long to do this shiz. <laughs> Email test at test.com. Why not? Country software. Okay, here's what we need. So I'm on Windows, so obviously click on Windows. Click on not a robot. Oh, we don't want it. I don't want updates. Get out of here. Click download. Huzzah. Look at that. There it is. Save the download. <coughs> Open the zip file, and then you've got your little folder right here. Copy that to desktop. Double click. Now we have these shiz. So, double click setup.exe. Right. So, this all goes smoothly because, yeah. I've already had it set up and I removed it so I could do this video. So hopefully it's going to work again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huzzah, it is finished. Oh, we got a reboot. Get fucked. Oh. I'm recording shit, man. Fuck you. Alright. Reboot the system and I'll be back in a moment. Bam. Recording has started. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck's sake. This is fucking. This is a cunt. Alright. We are back. System has been rebooted. And we should have V control right here. Now, the very first thing. You are going to have to do was v control needs to be run as administrator in order for it to find anything at all <laughs> so definitely good practice right click that shortcut go to open file location right click on the v oh, v control pro dot exe properties and then com oops compatibility and then where is it? There it is. Check this box that says run program as administrator. That will help you immensely. And it will probably keep you from getting as pissed off as I did. Anywho, before I open up VControl Pro, it's worth noting that the desk, this particular desk, and probably most desks, are going to use an Ethernet interface for media controls and all that crap. Um, so in my case, I have a spare network port on my computer. So I've got a crossover cable, crossover Ethernet cable going from the desk to my computer. If you don't have that, um, you are going to need a network switch. And you will need to plug your computer into that network switch and then the desk into that network switch as well. And that's how it's going to talk to each other. I know this is an absolute c word but this is what we have to do to, to do this crap anyway double click v control pro i probably should have mentioned that thing about the ethernet cables earlier but whatever this is not perfect <laughs> and all right so you'll find v icon down there so right click and go setups oh you fucking cut <laughs> okay apparently it has kept all of my previous configuration, even though I uninstalled the whole thing, to make it a fresh start to show everybody on YouTube. Well, that sucks. That sucks. All right. No, well, fuck it. We'll just have to go through this again, because I'm pretty sure I can't delete it.
I have no idea if we can delete it. Oh, right click delete. Perfect. Nice. But for some reason I can't delete that. So I think that's just part of the setup guides, but fuck it, we're just going to continue. And yes, you're welcome for me deleting all that crap and having to redo it. You suck. No. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we have to do is go to add new under controllers. So click on that, you'll get add ethernet device. Click on that again. Oh, click on that, whatever. Ah, psh, yeah. The first time it actually comes up properly. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if you don't have anything in this list, it says none. You've got no list, you've got nothing here. Check it's running as administrator, which is that thing I mentioned before. If it's not running as administrator, you're not going to have anything in this list. You're not even going to have a list. Um, you're not going to have anything in this list there either. So that's the first thing to check. That mine has come up instantly. So select internet. It's found it already. We click add. And we wait. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit slow. Cool. All right. So Control24 has been connected to vControl Pro. Beautiful. That's what we want. Um, Fortunately, because this is already there, it's kind of already picked up the way you're using Pro Tools. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Why does it do that? Uh -huh. Well, we don't need any of that. So as long as we've got controller there and it's picked it up via Ethernet, that'd be fine. I'm just going to get my little camera here. <coughs> right. So now we are recording the other camera. So three, two, one. Okay. Recording the camera so I can see this thing. All right. So now that we've got that done, we've pretty much set up the V-Control Pro part of it. So all we have to do now is set up the, the door. So what we have to do is basically set up the door to look to vControl Pro. So it's not going to look directly at your desk. It's going to look to vControl Pro. So I'll start off with Pro Tools and then I'll move into Reaper. Reaper is super easy. It's fantastic. So that's coming up. That's good. All right. So click on Setup. We go to Peripherals under the tab Mini Controllers should have four of these mofos right there. So if we click on none and we go hui, receive from, hopefully you'll have predefined. And then we can go down here and find V control. Don't worry about the rest of these. We'll take care of those in a second. But go to V control, click that. Under the send to column, do the same thing. Click there and go V control. Now it only gives you blocks of eight channels. So we're gonna have to do the same thing for the next three in my case here because I have the control 24 which is 24 track so we do the same thing hui predefined and then v control ext2 is the one there ext2 and then it's eight channels same thing here so we've got 16 I can bring it up to 24 so hui then ext3 ext3 and it's eight channels Hopefully, once I click OK, the desk should go, hey, we're here. Well, actually, if we make a new session, then it probably will. <laughs> All right. I'll just call it vid sesh. Uh, your stuff's great. Come on, save. Oh. Yeah. So we've got. This has come out there as 1 100. Nice. There's the mix window, and we can see up here 1, well, it's supposed to be 1000, but it doesn't work that well. So now what we have to do and see this. I should have just opened up another thing, but whatever. Previous thing, let's just say, let's do 24 mono tracks. Why not? All right, and then we'll just do my normal thing where you go master fader. All right. So we've set up a session, and if I get create, bleh. when I click create, it should pop up here. We can see on here that it says, oh, I'll move over a bit closer. 
So it's got Pro Tools, has a dialog on screen, so we know that it's definitely connected and it's definitely working, as if this wasn't a clue. Anyhow, okay, so watch the faders and we click Create. Come on, yes! <laughs> Beautiful. So we're definitely all connected there. And if I go back to my mix window and I'll take the 24th audio fader and hopefully. If I click in software, yes, <laughs> look at that, it moves, it moves, it moves, it moves, it moves. This is just the funniest, like, the best thing for me, I fucking love that. <laughs> and then if we just grab it here, it should move in software there as well, which is beautiful. So we can move all of these, and they're all going to move, and let's move them again with the software. Yep, perfect. And so if we, uh, where's the window here, click on groups. And then back to the mix window. So we're doing all faders. If we grab one fader, yep, all of them are going to move. Nice. Let's test the transport. Yep, that's going there. Let's jump back to the edit window. It's definitely running. And we click stop. Beautiful. We can hit record. No tracks record enabled, of course they're not. But we can just go, where is it here? Record, 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 record. Jump back to the mix window quickly. Yep, they're all armed for recording. Not all of them, but some of them. Bam, bam. Done. And it's recording. Uh, let me just scroll down there. There you go. So you can definitely see that it's recording. I don't have anything plugged into the inputs, but whatever. And we are done. Nice. So that is connected, and you can see all the tracks there with the names and everything. Cool. And that's that done. So you've now set up Control24 with Semantic Audio interface. Forgive my crappy desk. Um, with Pro Tools and V Control Pro. Now let's get to Reaper. Reaper, Reaper. I like Reaper. Reaper's awesome. All right. All right. So to set this up, we go Options and then Preferences. So in this left side here, scroll all the way down, find the one that says control slash OSC slash web. Click on that. And now we have to add a controller in there. So we click add control surface mode. This is where it changes a little bit. So instead of going Huey, we go for Mackie control universal. And then click on the drop down list and we should have V control. There you are. And it's going to be the same thing as before. So V controls input, V controls output. Click OK. Uh, are open menu bots? Probably because I've already got it open in Pro Tools. Forgive me. Yeah. Okay. So we close Pro Tools, and that goes. And what I'm going to do is just I'll just remove that. <laughs> Look what that says now. It's supposed to say offline. <laughs> that's that's another little quirk. Yeah. Let's try this again. So add. Sorry about that. I did not even think it would cause a problem. So V control, V control, zero nine. Yep, perfect. Click that. Click add again because that doesn't add all tracks. That's only adding about eight tracks. So I have to do it again. So make it control universal. Uh, v control X. XT2 and then XT2 again. So this is where the offset comes in. So put 9 for the offset. So it's done up to 8 in the last, in the first one, so this one up here. It's done 8 tracks. So the offset, so it's starting on the ninth track. It's a little bit weird, but that's what it's doing. Click Add again to do the third set of it to get all 24 tracks. MIDI input V control XT3, XT3 again, and this one will be, doob -doob -doob -doob, I think we're 17. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. It's not going to work for me. Well, fuck it. <laughs> I probably should have taken a screenshot of my previous setup before doing this. Anywho, whatever. What did I say, 17? That could be it. Could be 19, actually. Whatever. Click OK. Click OK again. And 
So I'm not sure if it's actually properly going to work this time. Check. Oh, I think it did. Yep. <laughs> right now, how easy was that? So, you know, it still says off, whatever. Okay, is that? No. So this is some of the weird little things that happen. Yeah. Yes, I'm actually. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to close Reaper, and then I'm going to reopen Reaper. Well, actually, before I reopen Reaper, oh, I was disconnected. Perfect. I was actually going to get that fuck out of here. Instead of opening up straight away, we'll just go back into setups, and we'll see. So it's got Reaper control to it. Perfect. So everything's come up there. Looks good, man. All right. Probably should have done that before opening Reaper. Anywho. All right, so Reaper is up. Whoop. That's blanked out. And looks like, oh, we've got, yep, stop is lit up. And we've got 0101 there. So if I hit play, the playhead moves. Perfect. And then look at this. If I hold this, look at that. We've got scrubbing with the playhead with this. You don't get that in Pro Tools, man. That is freaking cool. I love it. So what we're going to have to do is create a bunch of channels. So, uh, was it Control T? Yep, you can see the fader just popped up there. So, hit Control T again, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again. <laughs> Oop, I did it too fast. Yep, because I did it too fast, it skipped a number. So, we've got 7, 8, 10, so it skipped, skipped track 9. So, I'll just undo those and then go control T. No, it's going to 10. That's interesting. Hmm. That could be because of that offset thing that I was talking about. So now if we grab this fader for the first one and we're done. Yep. We've got it moving there as well. Nice. That is so cool, man. So cool. And then if we grab one of these faders, yep. You can see the last fader there is moving. I don't know how we can do groups in Reaper. I've never done groups before, but that's pretty much it there. I did all of those, and then yeah, there you go. So we just select all tracks in Reaper. Oops, take my hand out of the way so you can freaking see that. Oop. Cable length. Sorry. Um, then we move one, and we've got all of them moving together. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I wonder if ah, all of these will go into record mode. Yes, they do. So in software, they do. So if we hit record, we don't have to do record play. Just hit record, and it's going. And hit stop, and we get the dialog box to save. Perfect. Perfect. That's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to close Reaper. Uh, actually, before I close Reaper, I will. Get rid of these two midis. Start at nine. I don't know. I'll get rid of those two. Close it. Oh, cute little dog. Cute dog. Alright, cool. So it says offline now, not off one one zero whatever. And we've got Reaper disconnected. Perfect. Reaper is now connected. Okay, cool. So if I go control. T, yep, got one, oh, fuck's sake, got one, tra oh, fuck it, one track, two tracks, three tracks, four tracks, five tracks, six, seven, eight, ooh, yep, so it adds it in the software, but it gives me nothing, yeah, okay, so we definitely need these extra ones here. Let's try and work this out, man, because right, so we definitely need the extra two V control things. So micro universal XT2 XT2. Oh well the last one was eight. And it skips nine. So let's put eight there. And we'll see what the fuck happens. <laughs> Oof. It only goes up to eight. Ooh, hello. Instantly brought up nine and ten. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Uh, is that moving that one in software? I guess it is. Fuck yeah, man. Nice. Cool. So let's add those. So. So the last one's in H. So if I add another one, so if we go universal xt3, oh sorry, xt3, <laughs> and if I had that as 16, because that would be the last one from that from the previous bank, I'll click OK. Nice. So we've got nine and channels nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Come on, baby. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers for me. Come on, come on, come on. 17! 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Beautiful. 24 tracks in Reaper. Most of the stuff's working. I mean, as long as, you know, like record arm works, it works for each freaking channel. It's beautiful. We've got them all into record mode. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's actually that is an interesting one. Slide along here. If I push master record, this button is not assigned into any function. I don't know if you can read that on the camera. So that is one of the problems I want to talk about. Is where you know, it's, some things just aren't assigned, and that's all to do with the V control software, V pro control, whatever. Um, because essentially what we're doing is we are remapping every MIDI control from a hardware desk to something in software. And so because they haven't put in every single possibility, just some things just don't exist. So in Pro Tools, I can press that and I can get all tracks armed for recording. So I press that, get all tracks armed for recording. Obviously in Reaper, I can't do that. So I just have to go like this and do every second track. It still works. So control A to select every track. It doesn't fucking work. Yeah. Yeah. And then now I can move all tracks. Uh -huh. I love that, man. <laughs> cool. Do, 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 Yes, I'm excited. Oh. Oops, don't do it too quickly either. <laughs> That's another thing. If you do things too quick, it doesn't quite work because it doesn't have enough time to send the MIDI signal in such quick succession. A little pen, do they work? Yeah, look at that pen, Leon. Yeah, oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, the pants for everyone's going. <laughs> right, yes, because I've got them all selected. So every single one in software is panning as well. Beautiful. Fucking awesome, man. Oh, cool. So, oh, channel, channel select's working as well. Sweet. Sweet. I did not check that on Rotals. Actually, no, I did. And anyway, not in this video. Bam. Look at that. Lovely. So if we check select one, that moves up in software. If we have nothing, what happens there? Ah, yep, still moves. Perfect. Beautiful. That's really all you need. I wonder if save does anything. Ah, oh, wicked. Save button works in Reaper too. Fucking cool, man. <laughs> that is awesome. That is wicked. So, I mean, that's really all you need, man. one of my tracks that I'm working on. Alright, I think that's pretty much it, man. I don't think there's really anything else we need to cover. It's, everything's working. We've got B-Control set up. Pro Tools connection is done. Reaper connection is done. That's the only doors I use, except for Audacity down here, but I'm using that to record my voice at the moment, so I can't do it. Um, but I have no idea if it will work in Audacity. That's another video. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really make videos anymore because it could be fucked. The only issues I've had so far, besides that whole you know, use, having to use a crossover Ethernet cable or a network switch, it worked fine with a network switch, but I just don't want to have 
so many cables and more devices around my freaking desk. Um, so that was that was a problem. Uh, with the actual desk, you are limited to what they've got in V control software. Um, only because, as I mentioned before, it's sending MIDI signals from here to the software. So if the people who make V control haven't set this button to do a specific thing, it's not going to do anything. That, I mean, it's a major flaw, but you know what? I think as long as we can record with it and we can get most of the functionality, like, you know, soloing, muting, channel select, don't really need to mess with these EQs and inserts. Uh, well, that's a good point, actually. I'll talk about those inserts in a second. But you can get all of your pans work, um, all of the recording buttons work, the gain knobs, they all work. Um, this, uh, there's nothing in Pro Tools. <laughs> Just don't know. Um, yeah. So that's the, the biggest issue is, is that if it's not linked or mapped in V Control Pro, then, you know, it ain't gonna do jack shit. I should have had the camera around like this this whole time talking like that. Sorry about that. Occasionally, um, a couple of faders will actually just go move slightly forwards, backwards, forwards. it'll just go up and down just like that. And you'll get a whole bunch of them just going like that, so. And there's nothing you can do about it except turning the desk off, turning off, um, shutting down your door, <laughs> turning off your freaking audio interface, maybe even restarting the computer. Um, so pretty sure that's the way I got. I had to do it. So turn off the desk. I, t I pretty much just restart the computer out of frustration. So there's a few things which are a total c-word, but I mean. This is the things you have to do, because I'm pretty sure Avid don't realize that people such as myself, who are small-time, um, can't afford over $100,000 for a fucking desk. <sighs> fucking losers. Not everyone is a rich motherfucker, okay? <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we got everything done. Oh, right, yes, I was going to talk about the inserts. Inserts, right. Um, so if you look at a button here, you can actually control your inserts within Pro Tools. So if you've got a compressor or something like that, you can press on inserts and you can actually, I think it was this, I'm not sure if it was using a fader um, or the actual knob up here, but I could actually control the plugins. Um, after that, it kind of had a shit fit. Um, and pretty much nothing on the, oh, not pretty much, nothing on the desk worked. <clears throat> um, and on the desk, it just, what did I write down? I just it up. Something about press channel button to select an insert, some crap, some crap like that. Um, or select a channel to add the insert. No idea. Some crap like that. But the thing was, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't select a channel. I couldn't press any other button. Nothing would work. And it would just have that on the display, so it channel to put insert or whatever. I couldn't do jack with it. So again, let's turn everything off, restart, <laughs> and get it going. So that's that. Uh, let's see, console works well with repo, it doesn't show up now. Oh yes, input names. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Fucking hell. Hopefully you stuck around, because, you know, I fucked that up, didn't I? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, repo is connected to V-Control. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's add a new track. Yep, popped up on the thing. So, to here. Um, for the inputs, usually in Reaper you would click here and you would select which input you want. Obviously, input one, two, three, four, whatever. In Reaper, click uh, input mono, and you get this complete blank list. All 24 channels are there. 
but <laughs> there's no fucking numbers. No goddamn numbers, man. If we go to stereo, you get the same thing, blank slash whatever. So this should be 1 slash 2, 3 slash 4. Why is there so many, though? That's weird. Oh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, they do work. So if you had, if we put another ch another track there, so you would have the tick next to the first one. It knows it's number one, and then two, and then you have to go to the next track, and go three, four, and go down like that. So you have to count each one. Just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Yeah, so that's probably my biggest issue using it with Reaper. Um, in that, like, the controls are really cool, really cool. Try to say good and cool at the same time. Uh, really cool controls, but there's just some little things which you're just like, what the fuck? Um, just a couple of stupid little things every now and then, and that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm warming up to it. You know, the first day I got it, I was not impressed, and I was thinking I'll just, just go back to my old, my analog desk, the Phonic one. My Phonic desk has a Firewire interface on it already, so I can just plug that into my computer and I can record, but I don't have any door control. That's what I wanted, but I'm so small time, I don't know if I actually need it. Um, and I mean, it's a, it's fucking thing is massive. Like, come on. <laughs> it's 43 inches wide and it hangs off the edge of my fucking desk. A little interface there. So this guy alone you can get for about 800 bucks, 850 bucks online. So hey, it could be worth it, worth it if you have any other kind of desk. That's it for this video. This is going to be a, such a long video, it's going to be a pain to edit. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we made the Alloc account, uh, download the V-Control program, set up Pro Tools and Reaper, and got it all working. In record time too, I think. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly you can get through it when you've been through it before. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching. Whatever. <laughs>